what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Here we go again. An Ohio teacher was sentenced on Wednesday for sexual battery after she pleaded guilty to having sex with a 13-year-old female student. Who is this low-down, morally contaminated sexual deviant? Well, she goes by the name of Brooke Rosendale, and she was a fifth grade intervention specialist and girls volleyball and basketball coach at Riverdale School in Ohio. According to an arrest report, Rosendale had sexual contact with the teen in January and February of 2017. The incidents did not happen on school grounds. According to the arrest report, Rosendale was not the girl's teacher, but they had met through the school's extracurricular programs. Rosendale, 27, was engaged to her long-term boyfriend when the incidents occurred. In March 2017, the girl's parents reported the incidents to the school district. After the Hancock County Sheriff's Office launched a criminal probe, Rosendale resigned from her position. She also relinquished her teaching certificate. After Rosendale does her time and hit the streets, she's going to have to register as a tier three sex offender. She can no longer teach children. She can't even be around children. She can't work around children at all. She also, get this, has to pay the family $225 in restitution. Where the hell did they get $225 from? Now, Two hundred and twenty-five dollars. What, what? What is that? What is that going to pay for the paper? Paperwork? Copies? I think uh, pain is suffering. Yeah, pain is suffering, and, and even putting the the kid through therapy. The kid is going to need some therapy, right? So, I think the fine should have been a lot steeper. Now, y'all can't tell me. If this was a 27-year-old man and a 13-year-old girl, that it would be a lot different. The sentencing would be a whole lot different. I would, I would say they'd give him a minimum 10 years, at least 10 years in prison. But because it's a female, it's different. So where are the feminists? Where are the the equality marches. Where they at? Where you at? Hey Amen. Equal time for equal crime. That's, that's what the chant need to be. Equal time for equal crime. I need to be running around here with some posters and protesting. For a long time, men have had sexual assault on lock. Not anymore. Women are catching up fast. Real fast. Used to hear people say all the time, well, you still do hear people say, no man should be left alone with a child that's not his own. And even when it is his own, if it's a girl, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful, period. Because a lot of these women ain't no different. I wonder did the boyfriend get his engagement ring back? She probably had to pawn it to pay for a defense. Three years in the big house for rape, destroying a child's life. Prosecutor and the judge went hard on that one. Three years, three big years. But hey, no need to get all down. I'm sure they'll make up for it when the male teacher who walks in there on the next docket gets the full 25 years. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.